Hello, Philip here in Northern Thailand, Chiang Mai, um, and today I'm coming to you from our tea, tea tree house, which is, uh, which is um, quite useful considering that we're now going to look at L in our A to Z series of healthy foods and drinks. Now, I wonder what foods you can think of beginning with L. Now, I've got one main one that we're going to talk about for most of this video, and I'll leave that for the moment, but there's a connection between this L and uh, this L food and our tea tree house. I wonder if you've thought what the connection is. But meanwhile, uh, very briefly, fruits, limes, lemons, logan berries, uh, lychees and longans. Lychees and longans are very, very common throughout northern Thailand in season. We have, uh, we have longan trees here, they're called lam yai in, in Thai. Um, very tasty little fruits on their own. Uh, lychees are delicious if you ever get hold of them. Um, and uh, now ve vegetables, lettuce and leeks are the main two. Uh, lettuce is a bitter tasting food and therefore uh, has detoxifying properties and helps in digestion and basically cleans out your body. So lettuce is very good. Um, I wonder if you've noticed, uh, I, I see it because I live in a town where there's so many travellers coming through and tourists coming through and I go out for dinner quite a lot. People get their dinner, it's fish and chips, or it's uh, whatever it is, it's meat and potato, whatever, you know, whatever. And then there's a nice little side salad, uh, a little tomato and lettuce leaves. And at the end, the lettuce and tomato are still there on the plate. Everything else is gone, but the lettuce is, is not eaten. Eat the lettuce. Lettuce is fantastic for inside you. Um, uh, also, there's legumes, which includes lentils. Uh, and lentils uh, are, and all legumes are a great source of protein for um, vegetarian eaters or people who don't eat a lot of meat. Um, it seems to me that lentils give you a lot of strength because one time me and Air, my wife, we went to Nepal. In fact, it was for our honeymoon. We went trekking in the mountains and uh, you saw the, the local Nepalese porters and the men in, in, in the cities carrying massive loads. One time we saw somebody with a whole fridge on his back now their staple diet is lentils, so you'd have to think that lentils uh, are good for something. Um, what else? Uh, okay, um, there's, there's lavender, which is, uh, which is known as an, an aromatherapy oil, an essential oil, but a lavender you can make tea from as well, um, and it's got lots of calming properties, probably very good for uh, thinkers and uh, people who use their brain. Um, and then uh, the other one, uh, before we get to the main L, is licorice or licorice, licorice, licorice. Uh, now here we get licorice powder, not that black toffee th stuff that we had as kids. Licorice powder is very sweet, so if you're trying to give up sugar, licorice powder is an excellent substitute and so healthy for you. In Ayurveda in India, and I think in traditional Chinese medicine, licorice uh, is a powerful um, uh, superfood, if you like. Um, and Licorice is also useful as a carrier, so it's often mixed with other herbs to help carry those herbs into your, all your cells and your pores and everything in your body. So licorice is really good. Um, if I, I have, uh, quite often I have a cup of amalaki tea every day and I recently I've taken to adding, and I have a teaspoon of amalaki and I've been adding half a teaspoon of uh, licorice and it sweetens it up a bit, but I, I don't need sweet foods. Um, which brings us to uh, the main L. I wonder if you've guessed what it is, because you'll know now. Leaves. Do you eat leaves? You should do. That's a big leaf. I'm gonna take you through a few leaves. Now, tea shop, tea tree house, leaves, tea leaves. Now, if you just drink tea from a tea bag, you've probably never seen tea leaves. Uh, let me show you some tea leaves. Uh, now I've got various things here. We'll start with tea since we're a tea house. Uh, I'm going to show you something. This is a tea from Taiwan and it's called, no, t sorry, China. It's from China. It's called Tea Guanying and this is what it looks like. So that's your, that's your tea leaves. That's Tea Guanying. It's an oolong tea and the leaves are rolled up together and processed in that way. Uh, now Tea Guanying happens to mean goddess of compassion. So if you drink this, everybody's going to love you more because you're going to be walking around full of compassion. So that's the tea leaf. Now, uh, this is more like a leaf. You can see that. That's from yesterday's brew. Um, and uh, that, that's uh, a local tea from Chiang Mai. 
Northern Thailand is full of tea leaves and coffee plantations and has, it's not known yet around the world, but the coffee, the coffees from uh, Thailand, amazing. And, and the teas as well. We've got loads of teas. And so that's teas and tea leaf. Now, uh, something that you may know is this one. This is from, we've got two of these in our, two of these trees in our land. This is mulberry leaves. That's fresh. I've just cut them off the tree this morning. But mulberry leaves, what I do is I, I wash them and then I dry them and then I make a whole packet. And that's it, that's the dried mulberry tea. And so you just drink that and it's full of, it doesn't really matter whether it's got vitamin K or D or B or E and whether it's got iron or manganese or magnesium or calcium or whatever. It's, it's a plant given to us by the creation of, of, of the world and the universe and it's just simply, just take it that it's full of micronutrients. So it's got all antioxidants, it's got your vitamins, your minerals, it's just got loads of it. And if you just have uh, tea leaf, some kind of leaf every day, you're really helping your body. I'm in Thailand, do you know what that is? You've all eaten Thai food. Some of the tasty soups and curries have this in it. They cut it in half. This is a kaffir lime leaf. And when you tear it, and release the oils. Oh, lovely smell. So that's kaffir lime. Uh, something you'll all know about, but if you live in a cold country, it won't grow with you. Uh, these are lime tree leaves, in contrast to the bigger lemon tree leaf. Now, I've just cut these this morning. What I do, what you can do if you get leaves, by the way, these are the leaves we've got. The idea is that you, now that you are aware of, of leaves and how leaves can really add to your nutrient profile and really help you um, look after your body and your mind and your spirit and your essence and your whole being, is get leaves into your body. Uh, now, uh, it, it, you know, it could be apple tree leaves, pear leaf trees, strawberries, raspberries, whatever. Just look at leaves differently and just, just go online and just put benefits of apple leaves, benefits of blah, blah, and, you, and you'll get them and they're listed. Um, so, you know, the, the, so with these, these are the lime trees. What I do is I... I tear them to the stalk and it releases the oils and things. And then I've boiled some water and I'll put them in a nice teapot and uh, just leave them there to infuse as if they were tea leaves and you've got yourself a very healthy beverage. If you want to make it sweeter, add half a teaspoon of licorice powder. So get that from somewhere uh, and forget about the sugar. Uh, but you know, it's, it's nice to drink it on its own. It doesn't have to be sweet and you will get used to it. So that's your lime, lime leaves, that's your lemon leaves. Uh, now, the big one I showed you before, and I've only just thought about it, this is, uh, this is an avocado tree leaves. Uh, and we've got two avocados, we've had them four years, so I think we've got another two or three years to wait for, uh, for any fruit. So that's your, that's your avocado leaf. Uh, Mulberry, Tiguan Ying, what else was I going to show you? Something else? Oh, the final one, which I'm going to talk about in the next video, because it begins with M. Do you know what these are? That's from our Moringa tree. Now, if you look up the benefits of Moringa, massive. Num one of the best things you can get into you. Um, I pick these leaves, I wash them, and then I get them off the stalk, like that. Um, and then I just dry them on, on the table. And then, bingo, I put them in one of these um, oolong tea or empty tea containers. Uh, airtight light tight and you've got your dry teas i've got moringa so what have i talked to you i've moringa lime lemon avocado tea mulberry and you can just go on um, so that's the thing about leaves uh, get leaves into your into your into your diet you can buy all kinds of leaf teas now in the shops but okay and that's great and you're spending money but if you've got trees near where you live Find out what the trees are. Make sure that you can pick the leaves without causing any hassles to people. And just get the leaves picked, drink them fresh or dry them, and, uh, and you've got a store of them. 
So that's L. Um, next time we're coming back with M, and M is absolutely packed full of uh, foods and drinks for the healthy uh, person. So I'll be back again soon with that. Meanwhile, I bid you all a healthy, happy, harmonious weekend or day or evening or morning, wherever you are around the world. If you like my videos, please subscribe and click the like button, leave a comment for me uh, and help me grow my channel. And then I can disseminate all this wonderful information far around the world. And perhaps in this day and age with all the talk of aliens, perhaps they're tuning in from Jupiter or Pluto or further afield. Anyway, that's it from me today. Goodbye. See you next time.